Number 16 from the PERT practice test. This year is probably one of the most time-consuming problems you're, you're asked to do on this practice test because you can't work out the question and find the answer. You have to work out the answers and see if it matches the question. Now, one of the methods of doing this would be to take this negative 4 or 3 and plug it in to the values to see if it works. I like that method, but I'm going to do a different method, and I'm going to use Kramer's rule to quickly generate the x value for each of these choices. So I have 3, 5, 3, 1, negative 4, 6. I'm going to set up my Kramer's rule template here. And now, I'm going to circle that 5 up top as my pivot. <clears throat> now, all this Kramer's rule is going to find is the x value. So I'm looking for negative 4 as my answer. 5 times 6, that's 30. Negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12. Well, instead of putting a negative negative, this is what I like about this template. I can just change that to positive. That looks like it's going to give me a 42 on top. Now I go back to that pivot, 5, and I do 5 times 1, which is 5, and then negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12. So a negative negative again is going to give me positive 12, and that's going to give me 17. Now 42 divided by 17 is not 4. Let me see. 42 divided by 17, well, that's not 4. Oops, 42 divided by 17. Nope, not even a whole number. So it can't be choice A. It cannot be choice A. I can get rid of that. So now I'm going to fire for choice B. And notice all I'm going to do is write down the coefficients. So for choice B, I'm going to write down 3, 5, and 3, 1. 4 and 8. I'm going to set up my Kramer's rule template. I'm going to circle that 5. That's my pivot. <clears throat> and I do 5 times 8. Well, that's going to give me a 40. And I do 4 times 3. That's going to give me 12. I think 40 minus 12, that's uh, 28. Now I go back to the pivot. Go back to the pivot, 5. I do 5 times 1, which is 5. And then 4 times 3, and that gives me 12. 5 minus 12, that's negative 7. 28 divided by negative 7, take a look. That's going to give me negative 4. So I'm kind of thinking that this might be the answer. So I'm going to take the x plus 4y equals 8 from the bottom part of choice B. I'm going to plug negative 4 in. What's x equal? Negative 4. What's x equal? Negative 4. So I substitute negative 4 in for x. And that gives me negative 4 plus 4y equals 8. Now solving for y, and don't forget I'm looking for a 3. I add 4 to both sides. That's going to give me 4y equals 12, and notice, when I divide both sides by 4, I get y equals 3. So for this question, the answer is choice B, and I did it by using Kramer's rule.